because once there is a stone it can get blocked it can block the tube of the of the gall bladder and cause pain or they can pass if there's tiny smaller stone they can pass into the gall bladder and go and block the bile duct the main bile duct and cause pain mm. so patients come to us either with sudden severe pain in the upper abdomen or a combination of pain fever mm. and jaundice सर्जरी सिंपलीफाइड शस्त्रकला सरल शब्दों में हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल सर्जरी सिंपलीफाइड शस्त्रकला सरल शब्दों में मेरे साथ हैं डॉक्टर निखिल नमस्ते सो आज हम अनदर कंडीशन के बारे में डिस्कस करने वाले हैं इन एक्यूट एब्डोमिन व्हिच इज गॉल ब्लैडर डिजीज यस दैट्स राइट डॉक्टर यस सो आप थोड़ा एनलाइटन कीजिए लाइक व्हाट इज गॉल ब्लैडर सुना तो काफी है बट इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं है जैसे हमने लास्ट टाइम अपेंडिक्स के बारे में बात किया विच इज वेरी कॉमन अनदर वेरी कॉमन कंडीशन इज गॉल ब्लडर डिसीज अब ये कॉमन पिछले 15-20 सालों में ज्यादा हुआ है अच्छा। उसके पहले नहीं देर आर टू थ्री रीजन्स एक तो अल्ट्रासाउंड जो है जो मशीन है जिसकी वजह से गॉल ब्लडर डिसीज डायग्नोज होता है पहले नहीं था अब आया है और बहुत कॉमन है सब जगह सोनोग्राफी या स्कैनिंग होता है और उसकी वजह से भी गॉल स्टोन एंड गॉल ब्लडर डिसीज ज़्यादा डायग्नोज होने लगा है पहली बात एंड मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट इज के गॉल ब्लडर डिसीज इज रिलेटेड डायरेक्टली टू व्हाट यू ईट तो क्योंकि डाइट लोगों का एक तो वेजिटेरियन से नॉन वेज हुआ है और ज़्यादा वेस्टर्नाइज डाइट हुआ है जहाँ पे यू नो पिज्जा बर्गर एंड मीट प्रोसेस्ड मीट ऑल दीज थिंग्स ज्यादा खाने लगे लोग तो उसकी वजह से कोलेस्ट्रॉल लेवल जो ब्लड में है वो बढ़ रहा है और उसका डायरेक्ट संबंध है गॉल स्टोन तो पहले हम बताएंगे कि गॉल ब्लैडर है क्या गॉल ब्लैडर बेसिकली एक थैली है लीवर के नीचे वो रहती है इट्स लाइक अ सैक हैंगिंग फ्रॉम द लीवर अच्छा ओके तो लीवर में आपको मालूम है कि पित्त तैयार होता है विच इज कॉल्ड एज बाइल तो वहां से एक नली निकलती है जहां से वो बाइल आके इंटेस्टाइन में जाता है ज्वाइन होता, होता है और उसके वो नली से एक ब्रांच आके उसमें एक थैली रहता है उसको बोलते हैं गॉल ब्लैडर तो गॉल ब्लैडर का फंक्शन क्या है बेसिकली कि जो पित्त तैयार होता है और जब भी आप खाना खाते हैं तो पित्त ज्यादा तैयार होता है आप जब भी कुछ खाएंगे स्पेशली अगर आप कुछ फैटी चीज खाएंगे नॉन खाएंगे यू नो जिसमें दूध दूध हो अंडे हो मीट हो ऑयल हो यानी तो, हीट डेवलप करने वाली यस जो भी हाँ जो भी जो ज्यादा ऑयली हो एनिमल फैट हो वेजिटेरियन फैट हो इट डजेंट मैटर ऑयली हो जैसे समोसे हैं एनीथिंग डीप फ्राइड ऑयली फूड अमाउंट ऑफ बाइल प्रोड्यूस इज मोर ओके तो इन फास्टिंग कंडीशन दैट मीन्स जब आप कुछ नहीं खाते हैं तो क्या होता है कि बाइल जो आता है वो इसमें ये ट्यूब में आके वो सैक में बैठता है सो इट एक्ट लाइक इट्स लाइक अ वाटर टैंक जैसे अभी फॉर एग्जांपल बॉम्बे में या किधर बहुत शहरों में ऐसे है कि पानी 24 घंटा नहीं रहता है तो पानी एक दो घंटे आते हैं तो पानी एक टाकी में भरते हैं और जब चाहिए वो पानी आता है तो गॉल ब्लैडर का वही काम है वो बाइल की टाकी है तो जब आपको बाइल की जरूरत नहीं है तो बाइल वहां पर जाता है और उधर बैठता है और उसमें क्या होता है कि बाइल कॉन्सेंट्रेट हो जाता है तो कम बाइल आना चाहिए तो एवरी टाइम लीवर से डायरेक्टली बाइल नहीं आता है गॉल ब्लैडर से आता है क्योंकि वो स्टोर होता है उधर लेकिन ऐसे ही जरूरी नहीं है गॉल ब्लैडर अपने जिंदगी के लिए जरूरी नहीं इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी फॉर योर लाइफ फॉर नॉर्मल लाइफ यू कैन डू विदाउट अ गॉल ब्लैडर ओके सो इट्स बेसिकली अ स्टोरेज टैंक फॉर बाइल सो वेन यू ईट द गॉल ब्लैडर विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट and it will throw the bile into the liver into the intestine whether it will mix up with the food and it helps in digestion of the food mm. especially fat fat digestion 
नाउ बिकॉज इट इज अ स्टोरेज टाइम देर इज स्टेसिस मतलब स्टेसिस मतलब बाइल उधर रहता है ठहरा रहता है जैसे अभी आपने देखा कि किधर भी कुछ ऐसा ठहरेगा पानी तो उसमें जर्म्स हो सकते हैं तो वैसे ही जब सपोज uh, अभी यू नो मस्कीटोज ग्रो इन स्टिल वाटर लाइक बिकॉज दैट वाटर विच इज स्टिल इट अलाउज द मस्कीटोज टू ग्रो सिमिलरली बिकॉज द बाइल रिमेन्स इन द गॉल ब्लैडर फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सर्टन चेंजेस हैपन इन द बाइल सो वॉट आर दो चेंजेस कोलेस्ट्रॉल which is there in the blood everybody knows about cholesterol it is a direct relationship to the amount of fat you eat the more fat you eat the more will be the cholesterol in the blood because when the fat is digested and converted into fatty acids it also is converted into cholesterol now cholesterol is not soluble in water it is not soluble it's insoluble but it is kept it is made soluble by phospholipid and bile acid bile acid and phospholipid are two contents of bile which allow the cholesterol to be soluble in the bile but there is a limit to this if the cholesterol goes behind beyond a certain limit then we call it what is called as super saturated bile means the cholesterol is almost on the verge of the limit in which it can remain in a liquid form mm -hmm. now if more cholesterol goes then the cholesterol forms crystals acha it is similar to kidney stones when we'll discuss kidney stones so so once the crystals of cholesterol form around that crystal then more deposits will happen mm -hmm. and it will become into a stone acha so the primary reason for gall gallstones is high cholesterol levels so there are two or three types of stones one is cholesterol stone which we have discussed the other is pigment stones oh. so cholesterol stones are dirty whitish in color creamish in color whereas the pigment stones obviously pigment means they are colored oh. there are two types yellow and brown and black yellow brown and black now these are produced because of dysfunction in the gall bladder that means if suppose the gall bladder is not contracting properly right it is not able to contract and empty the full bile or there is some obstruction somewhere in the passage of the bile it could be because of some strict, uh, narrowing in the bile tube or there could be a cancer which could be narrowing the tube and then the bile there is stasis so whenever the flow of bile is affected and there is infection then you can get stones which appear because of infection so the dead bacteria becomes the nidus around which the stone will be formed okay the dead bacteria so it is said pigment stones are the tombstone to a dead bacteria mm -hmm. you know a dead germ and that is a tombstone like you put, when you bury somebody you put a tombstone right? Right, right so pigment stones which are due to infection are known as uh, because of infection and another condition where you get pigment stones which are black in color which is less common mm -hmm. is because of some certain uh, blood conditions we call them you have heard of thalassemia no <laughs> okay these are hemolytic anemias that means these are uh, conditions which people are born with where the blood is not normal the blood has got a problem acha now blood contains rbc right okay rbc is red blood corpuscle which gives a red color to the blood now a normal rbc remains in blood for 120 days that is 4 months one cell one cell and it dies and new cells are born from the spleen and the bone marrow so it's a continuous cycle right that is why it's good to give blood because correct fresh blood is formed in the body right okay now in the in spirocytosis or any of these congenital hemolytic anemias the rbc does not remain for 120 days mm -hmm. it may be there for 90 days 40 days depending on the severity depending on the severity so the blood cell gets destroyed much faster mm. so the factory is working at a faster speed mm. that means instead of 120 days of circulation it is say in 60 days or 90 days so there is far greater destruction of rbcs now one of the reasons or one of the sources of bile or bile pigment is the rbc which is broken down mm. so when the rbc gets broken down some of it is converted into bilirubin which is the yellow color of the bile all right it's the breakdown product of rbcs because rbcs break down in the spleen and in the liver 
when they die, they go to the spleen and liver and they are removed from the body in the form of bilirubin pigment. So, when this cycle becomes faster, the production of bilirubin increases beyond the capacity of the liver to keep them in solution. Again, the bilirubin pigment is kept in solution because of certain enzymes released from the liver. Now, when too much of bilirubin is produced, again it will crystallize and form Achha. stones. Okay. Those are black in color. Achha. So, summarizing, you have stones which because of infection, mm. which are yellow to brown in color. Mm. Stones which are because of abnormalities in the blood, which we call hemolytic anemias, okay. which are black in color. Mm. And stones which are because of increased cholesterol, mm. which are white in color. And they are approximately one third, one third, one third. But whatever the cause of the stone, ultimately when there are stones in the gallbladder, you need to remove the gallbladder because once there is a stone, it can get blocked, it can block the tube of the, of the gallbladder and cause pain or they can pass, if there is a smaller stone, they can pass into the gallbladder and go and block the bile duct, the main bile duct and cause pain. Mm. So patients come to us either with sudden severe pain in the upper abdomen or a combination of pain, fever mm. and jaundice. This is known as a triad. It's also called Charcot's triad. Who is the person who invented this or noticed this triad? There is a combination of pain, jaundice and fever. So this triad indicates seriousness because the stone is blocking the main duct of the bile. So the, all the bile coming from the liver is now not able to reach into the intestine. Mm. And it is spilling back into the blood and causing jaundice. It is not the other jaundice which you normally get which is viral hepatitis because of the virus. This is a jaundice because of obstruction. So you have to differentiate between medical jaundice and surgical jaundice. This is surgical jaundice which needs surgery or some surgical procedure to relieve this bile or open up the bile duct. Okay. So the gallbladder becomes the center of the stone. The stone can cause infection so you can get an infected gallbladder just like an infected appendix that can cause pain. Mm. The gallstone can block and it can cause pain like kidney stone pain which is obstructive pain right. or it can block the main tube and cause cholangitis. Achha. Cholangitis means infection spreading up the bile into the liver and all the biliary passages very serious condition. Mm. Okay, life threatening. So these are the three things. One more thing it can do is which we will discuss again as a part of acute abdomen. It can also block the pancreatic duct and it causes inflammation of the pancreas. So you can have gallstone causing cholangitis, gallstone causing inflammation of gallbladder, obstruction of the bile ducts and pancreatitis. These are the four things which can happen because of gallbladder disease which can present with acute abdominal pain. Mm. The treatment part is, of course the diagnosis is by ultrasound Correct. and if the person is having fever and, and jaundice, and you are suspecting the main duct is blocked, mm. then you need to do a imaging known as uh, MRCP, that is an MRI mm. with a dye injected mm. which concentrates in the liver. So it's called MRI cholangiography. Okay. Okay, MRI cholangiography. So that is what is done mm. to diagnose whether the main tube is blocked. Mm. Okay. So what is the treatment? Today, there is a very good treatment of endoscopy. So, our endoscopy colleagues can put an endoscope right up to the duodenum where the duct is opening and go from below and pass a stent or they can pass an uh, uh, instrument and break the stone mm -hmm. and then keep a stent so that the obstruction is relieved and the emergency is reduced. Got it. Once they do that, then you can go and do the gallbladder removal. And once the gallbladder is removed, then later on you again remove the stent by putting a telescope. So once the stone is removed, then gallbladder is removed? Because it is the source of the stones. Ah. So again it will form stones, again it will cause them. Okay, okay. So since gallbladder is not required for normal life, I mean you can do without a gallbladder, we remove the gallbladder itself, so the source is removed. Against that, in a kidney stone, we don't remove the kidney, kidney. because the kidney is required for life. <laughs> So there we only remove the stone. So there is always a chance because of uh, stone coming back, recurrence of the stone. Here there is no such problem. You are removing the gallbladder and 
along with the stones you remove the gallbladder itself so either it's a combination of doing uh, endoscopy stenting the gallbladder a uh, bile duct removing the stone from there then followed by gall gallbladder surgery or only gallbladder surgery if the stone has not come into the bile duct and it's today the gold standard is to do it by laparoscopy because the open surgery the incision is much bigger so it is better to do it through a laparoscopy it's much easier and faster recovery by doing it through a telescope which is the keyhole surgery so the gold standard today is to do gallbladder surgery through a telescope okay all right perfect doctor one last question abhi uh, you told us that it's all about the uh, habits that we have in our food you yes. know the intake that we do yes. fat hai cheese hai and all that uh, uh, you know high fat tala diet tala hua yes so it's very difficult for the younger people nowadays to you know control their uh, stuff so is it also ki exercise se bhi kuch ho sakta hai no main thing is to control the diet control you have to reduce the if your cholesterol and your uh, triglycerides are high oh. it's not only gallstones it is overall not good for the uh, other vital structures like arteries it leads to yeah. atherosclerosis it leads to heart problems it leads to because you put on weight and then it leads to so many other diseases so better to reduce the oily oil content of your diet as well as the sugar content of your diet mm. exercise helps it doesn't mean that you have to go and do a lot of uh, you know weight lifting and all mm. any kind of exercise as long as you are active even walking is good enough running cycling swimming playing be active mm. it's not necessary and that too you can do it four or five times a week you don't have to do it Every all day. seven days of the week but most important is control on the diet Got you it. even if you exercise and then you go and eat two pizzas after doing uh, exercise doesn't help right doesn't help because that cholesterol load that you put through your mouth onto the on in through your stomach and on the blood that cannot go away with the exercise it will still keep a high cholesterol level mm. so the intake of cholesterol increasing food itself has to be reduced okay. this is the one single effect even if you don't exercise mm. but if you control the intake of cholesterol right that will help got it All right, wonderful. Thank you so much, doctor, okay. for enlightening all of us about the gallbladder disease. I hope this was informational to you also. And आपके पास अगर कोई भी questions है this topic के related, तो please comment section में आप अपने suggestions on topics or questions on this topic डाल सकते हैं. And we make sure that we get back to you. And uh, if you like this episode, if you like this. information sharing please hit that bell icon subscribe our channel hit that like button and stay tuned for more episodes thank you thank you